so these are different kinds of threat vulnerabilities and exploits. I just put this slide so you have better idea. So what is vulnerability? A bug, a glitch, a hole in or flaw in any network application. Let's say if we have Windows uh, 7 uh, and in the programming, when the developers they develop this program, maybe they, they uh, left some uh, uh, very important piece of information left uh, like like you know uh, they couldn't uh, actually configure it properly so that is the reason you know uh, the evils have very good understanding and they can use uh, this uh, the bug and they can like in exploit kits if i give you the relay correlate with this thing attacks on the selection of vulnerabilities so this is kind of vulnerabilities attackers found and with, with the help of that vulnerabilities, they can access your Windows 7 system. And they, they can, uh, you know, uh, put some kind of trojans, malware inside into. So these are the vulnerabilities, by the way, and the exploits, basically with the help of these vulnerabilities, they can access these systems. So this is the difference between vulnerabilities and exploit kits. Then we have zero day attack. Um, if you ever heard about this, that uh, the, the zero day attack has happened to this uh, system. So, so what happens, for example, if I gave, give you the same analogy like Windows 7, uh, when they deployed Windows 7, okay, and uh, uh, the attacker, they found this vulnerabilities inside this Windows 7 before Windows 7 developers know about it. This is known as zero day attacks. So it is written attack against an unknown vulnerability it is with no, no known security fix. And by the way, if Windows 7 has uh, already, you know, in the market and before zero day attack, if, if the developers of Windows 7, they do kind of configuration or do patching, this is known as the patching. So that's why, you know, in uh, when you install uh, a very new windows operating system they always take you go uh, take you to uh, to the update setting where you will update these all things basically what is doing it is installing the patches any kind of misconfiguration will be uh, you know mitigated using these patches and then we have threats it's nothing just attack developed to take advantage of vulnerabilities so as it's from clear from that and then we have these advanced persistent threat uh, the methodological long-term convert attacks using many tools to steal information so attacker uh, you know persistently or constantly just attacking to the that same device okay just to get the information it will use first tool if it didn't work it will go to the second one and third one fourth one and one by one, so with the help of those all, uh, you know, the tools, he will be able to access the information of that device. So that is known as an advanced persistent threat. 